Hey what's up guys, this is Sky for Snipe 5 here, back with a watch that I personally have used for quite a few months now. This is an Armatron sports watch. I did previously do an unboxing of this watch. If you were interested, make sure you check out the link in the description or stay to the end of this video and it will be linked there. But anyways, this one I have is in black but it does come in several other colors. The main reason why I love Armatron watches is the fact that they are very water resistant and they're great sports watches at a great price. I only paid about $15 for this one, but because of the stainless steel design, it makes it look like a much more expensive watch. I've gotten plenty of compliments with this watch. So just taking a quick overview of it, so the main housing is mostly stainless steel, as you can see here in the front and the back. It has a chrome finish in the front. At first, it was very shiny and it's like scotch free, but after a while it does pick up scratches as you can see here. And then the straps themselves is this kind of plastic resin. But if you don't like the band, you can always swap it for a different one. It is very easy to put it on and take it off. And because this is a woman's size watch, it is appropriately fitted for smaller wrists. As you can see, I have pretty narrow wrists. And I usually wear it at either the second to last hole or the last hole. And at the last hole, I'm able to maintain a good grip on my wrist. So when, even when I do a lot of shaking with my arm, it stays put. The band is held together with a metal clasp, but a plastic slider here, and I personally think the slider is a little bit too loose. I did find that after some good deal of movement, it tends to slide around and come apart, especially when I'm swimming. And that brings up to actually one of the main reasons why I got this watch is because of its waterproofness. It is water resistant up to 330 feet, which translates to you are able to swim and dive, free dive pretty freely. You can do a little bit of scuba diving, but no intense diving. I am a swimmer, so this is definitely a very important feature for me. I'm glad that I can wear my watch without having to take it off. But unfortunately, with the class, it kind of makes me a little reluctant to actually wear it in competitions because I'm afraid that it will just slip off and cause a little drag when I'm actually swimming. But for normal people, you can wear it in the shower without any problems. You really don't ever have to take this thing off. I've done a whole lot of different kinds of sports with it. I played basketball, I do biking, I went hiking, all the above, and these have lasted me perfectly fine. So since this is a sports watch, you definitely have a lot of features with this watch, so let's go ahead and just run through them real quickly. So on the main face, you can see the time in big bold numbers as well as the day of the week and the day here up at the top strip. And then if you press the mode button, you can switch between the faces. So the first face is the alarm, and the next one would be the stopwatch, and the last one is the dual time zone if you wanted to set down as well. What's missing here is a countdown timer, but normally I don't really use that. If I had to, I just use my phone anyway, so that's not really a big deal for me. Now let's go into more depth for each watch face. So on the main watch face, you are able to see the full date, including the year, by holding down the top right button right here. And then if you press the top left button, you can switch between the military time and the regular AM PM time formats. If you hold that button a little bit longer, you're able to adjust the time as you want. And you of course use the mode and the top right button to switch between the hour, the date, and then adjust them accordingly. The next phase is the alarm and you would set that as you would with the time. If you press the upper right button once, you would turn on the alarm. You press it again, you will turn off the alarm but turn on the hourly chime so it will just chime every time it's the next hour. Or if you press it again, You'll have both the hourly chime and the alarm on. You press it again, you turn off both hourly chime and the alarm. Personally, I only have the alarm on. I don't really like the hourly chime. It's pretty annoying. It's pretty much a little beep as you would with pressing the buttons at every hour. Pressing the mode button again takes you to the stopwatch. So this is the typical stopwatch that you expect. You have the start stop button to of course start and stop the timer. You also have the lap button which you can press with the upper left to lap so you can record the time at a certain point but still have the stopwatch continue to keep track of the time. And next you have of course the second time zone if you want. You can adjust the time as you would with the main clock face, but only this time you can't add on a date. You can only have the time. And pressing the upper right button won't bring up any extra features. And lastly, the final button that I didn't talk about is this bottom right one. This is the illuminating button. You can, as you can see you can illuminate the clock face when you are in, say, a dark situation. But I actually rarely ever use this button. For one, it drains the battery quicker, and two, 
the visibility on this watch is actually really great. It's uh, even though it's a small form factor, but the watch face and the numbers take up almost the entire face of the watch, so it's very clearly visible even in lower light situations as demonstrated here. So my final verdict is I really like the sports watch. It is water resistant and it's great design. I feel comfortable. I never had any kind of irritation. My only gripes are the slider on the band is a little bit too loose. I find that it moves around a little bit too much. And also, I don't like that you can't turn off the beeping whenever you press the button. But if you can look past those two minor gripes, I think this is a great sports watch to be had for $15. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. It would be greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, Skyforce95, if you haven't already, to get more content like this. Or if you're watching this on Amazon, head over to my channel URL right here, or just search it up on YouTube Sky First Night 5. There you'll see a bunch of my product reviews and unboxings. Feel free to browse or if you want to search for something specific, just hit that search field. That'll do it for this video. This is Sky First Night 5. Thanks for watching.